and this video will cover the roadmap menu commands. And you can place a roadmap chart using either the high or low of a bar or the close and it can make a difference although it's not usually significant but it's uh, uh, worthwhile enough to make the distinction. Uh, to place a roadmap chart the uh, roadmap dialog pops up. Uh, you want to choose a factor and you can see that the factors uh, represent uh, degrees of uh, change, degrees of a circle and each select one. You select whether it's a grid or a ghost and we'll explain the difference. In this case uh, we're going to choose grid and apply. You click the apply button and now you left click on a high or right click on a low. So we'll right click on a low and we'll look at the grid. Uh, if we think we can do it a little better we'll clear it and click the apply button again right mouse click the bottom and okay we get a decent looking grid but we'll clear that exit it and now we'll try the uh, closes to see what kind of difference we get 875 worked pretty good we'll hit apply uh, move that out of the way and click the low. So it's uh, six of one, half a dozen of another. Uh, we'll exit this. Uh, the unique thing about roadmap charts is that you can draw a trend line and parallel lines on, on any chart with uh, just about any, any software. Uh, but you need at least two points uh, to do the trend line. Uh, the beauty of the roadmap charts is that you could have placed this roadmap chart uh, back in November of 2012 and it contained the swing uh, almost precisely for uh, several months and as long as price remains within the roadmap charts uh, the trend remains intact. Now uh, once you gain familiarity with the tickers you trade you get to learn which uh, factors and which degrees of a circle are the most important for bull and bear swings uh, for the ticker you trade. Okay, let's demonstrate the uh, uh, what the ghost line is. We'll use the same number uh, of factor 8.75. Uh, we'll apply. Let's move this out of the way. And you do ghost lines as the chart uh, fills out within the channels as time progresses and you use the kind of the ghost lines as a as a as a watch and if price is moving toward the bottom of the channel maybe you'll want to throw up a ghost line uh, see if it penetrates the bottom of the channel uh, but if it moves up beyond your ghost line which would be uh, a bear channel if indeed a reversal had occurred uh, then you get a pretty good indication that the trend is uh, is intact, uh, which in the case uh, here it is. Okay, let's exit that. And as with anything else, you can clear uh, all annotations with a, a mouse click. And the next uh, video will cover the counting uh, menu and the uh, look-ahead function.